Hi, don't know about you, I've got teenagers in the house. Biscuits are gone. I need something that they can snack on that isn't high in sugar and that will hopefully um, last a bit longer than a packet of biscuits appear to do in my house. So actually, I can feel that that's actually good for them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bake some carrot flapjacks. And we're all quite familiar with the carrot flapjacks um, or the normal flapjacks. So obviously we know that we need oats. I've got cheese. I've got an egg, I've got herbs, I've got some butter for the top, and obviously I've got carrots. So what we do, I've got approximately 200 grams of oats in here. So that goes in here. And I've got probably about 100 grams of grated cheese here. So butter is for the top. Just put that to one side for a moment. I've got my carrots here. I wanted to show you that I'm going to quickly do this. I peel my carrots because I find if I grate carrots without taking the skin off that they get little brown edges. I'm just going to grate my carrots before I grate them. Peel my carrots before I grate them. So the idea of these is that I can, my children can snack on these. I say my children, my husband can snack on these as well. And they're hopefully a satisfying, slightly or healthier alternative to the obscene, quite frankly, large amount of biscuits that my household consumes. Basically meaning if there's ever a national shortage of biscuits, my household will have caused it. This is quite good to say carrots are quite cheap to buy, as are oats. A nice cheese that melts. So they go in there, like so. Get those bits in there. There we go. Get those bits in there. So we've got that there, that's what I've mixed so far. What we're going to use to bind it, bind it, is an egg. Now, just to give it a little bit of taste, depending on your own taste, I'm using, you can add some dried herb, and I'm using thyme. A little bit of thyme, and just a little bit of oregano. You may have other herbs, they're just dried herbs. You might have other herbs that you like. You may want to add different ones. It's up to you. I'm not putting any salt into this because cheese is actually quite salty. And because of the other flavours. So this is, instead of the, the butter and the sugar, the cheese and the egg will help to bind all of this together. So if you're allergic to egg, there are a number of other substitutes you potentially could use. So... I probably would imagine an unsweetened apple sauce would probably be quite good to help bind things together. And so we give it a mix. So it will be slightly more loose than 
other flapjacks that you've made, the sweet version that you've made. But remember that once the cheese gets in the oven and we'll put butter on top as well, it will melt and obviously it will hold together. I've got a baking dish here. I always think with flapjacks, if you've got baking parchment, it's a good thing. I screw it up, it fits in a bit easier. the idea for this or this this recipe from a recipe advert from Riverford Organic just to give credit where credit is due so, oats are a really versatile ingredient. They can be the basis for so many different um, recipes, both sweet and, as we can see here, savoury. We quite often think of them just for porridge, but they can go into um, recipes like crumbles. as a thickener so I'm just using this to and say carrots you don't just have to be there as a penance on the side of your plate now this will go into a 180 degree oven for 25 minutes and when you let it cool down so I'm going to pop that in the oven now Here's one that I did earlier, as I say. I have um, teenagers, so therefore having two lots of this in the house is not going to um, be a hardship, shall we say. So I've allowed this to cool, it's on the, on the paper, I allowed this to cool within the baking dish so it, it retains its shape, it keeps it together. So now I'm going to cut it. demonstrate so you can cut these up into nice nice little uh, things making nice a nice snack that might fill my children up you never know but certainly makes a change or a healthier change from eating biscuits or making cupcakes or even the sweet version of flapjacks let us know how you get on.